Hey guys, Hunter Hayes here with Pond Hop Outdoors. Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Uh, the, the, what do you call it? Milk crate, tackle box, kayak, majigger thing. Alright, so what I did, I started out with two milk crates right here. This is a whole milk crate. This one is a piece of a milk crate off of this one. And what I did was I went around to the very base of it. I cut all the way around. And then I made this little indention right here for a handle. And then now it comes off. I got my two rod leashes right here. Um, hold on. All right, so I have this little handle right here I cut up with a jigsaw. And then I have this little itty bitty bungee cord I got from Walmart and then that hooks to a little zip tie back here and it hooks to a little bag I'll show you to you in a minute um, and that hooks down here to a hole I drilled and that makes it easier so all I have to do in the kayak reach back let me put it back reach back pull it out let it go and it's on these it's on these little zip tie hinges so if one of them breaks, just cut it off all the way and you can restart. And sorry for the breathing dog in the background. Um, I have this little bag right here. It's got my scale. It's got some string. I got a stringer in here, some extra line, things like that. First aid kit. Here is where the good stuff is. This is all my tackle that I will ever need on the water. This is all of it. I got cranks, soft plastics, jigs and jig trailers, top water, spinnerbaits, hooks, weights. And then I even have some crappie and bluegill stuff. Um, so that is the crate itself. And what I did underneath it was I have these two PVC pipes. There's one right there and one right there. And what I did was I got these two one foot uh, bungee cords, one here, one here. And what it does, it hooks from right here, it goes all the way under and comes out right here. I don't know where the other one is. Anyway, it's probably hooked somewhere. But it is hooked down there. It is not going anywhere. It makes this Journey 10 SS. This is absolutely insanely stable now that I have the buoys on there I'm painting them in the process they're right right out there um those will go right here I already have a hole drilled right there and right there on both sides um that makes this kayak extremely stable I can stand up in it those are you can get them at Walmart they're the four and a half inches by, I think, 20 or 22. So they're $7 a piece. And that makes this kayak as stable as a $700 kayak. If you put these little holes right here at the water line, we mark the water line. So now those holes are even with the water line. We can just screw it in there with some washers and screw in bolts. And that makes this kayak awesome. I fished in it a while ago. I caught a two and a half pound bass and it pulled me around. Now that these things, those little pontoon things on here, it tracks really well because it's basically a pontoon now. So that makes this kayak awesome. I peeled the stickers off because they're kind of ugly. So I put these little stickers. I'm going to slowly start filling them up. Oh, also what I did was this little stock kayak, kayak paddle thing. It comes off at a square, so it looks kind of ugly. That, and it's really bulky. What I did was I got an ice cream bucket, and I laid it on top of here, and used it as a stencil to come right across right here, and got a jigsaw, and just cut it. So now it's a perfectly rounded edge on both ends. So that is how this thing is modified. I also put these little... I don't really know what you call these. They're like bike holders or something. 
What I do is I just screw these in here, right there. That way I can just put my paddle here, or I can set it right there if I'm sitting down. That way it keeps it a little quieter. I have a GoPro mount right here, and that is basically it. Oh yeah, I got this new seat. It's just a Gander Mountain GCI. I don't even know what it is, but it's all it's a canoe thing, and I just screwed it in. Right there, you can see the screw. Uh, I just screwed it in so it's not going anywhere. You just fold it down. If you want to store it, I got a, some extra. You put some extra stuff down there. I kept the seat in here because if you put it, lead it back, it puts all this pressure on here and it folds up like that. It makes it really uncomfortable. So this is like extra support for it. It's still really comfy. It gives you enough backbone. It helps your back so it's got this lumbar support. Um, so that really makes a difference. I can also store just a couple small things like some water shoes, some extra rope back there. And that really, really helps. Um, I guess this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this. This is a quick, just out of nowhere. And I just got up and decided to do this. Um, hope you guys liked it. See ya.